and, and Libya for our, for our future, you know. The community of 10 houses on Indigenous-owned land is 25 kilometres from the town of Elliot. Even though Elliot is itself remote, 700 kilometres from both Darwin and Alice Springs, Malinje residents enjoy a quieter life away from its problems. The issue with drug and alcohol and domestic violence. So I, I, I'd rather grow my children up in a safer environment. The federal government's 2007 intervention banned alcohol in Elliot's indigenous communities. So community residents can only legally drink in the town's pub or a designated fenced paddock. Crowds of people watched over by the community's night patrol gather here on their payday from jobs or welfare. And we don't agree on having drug and alcohol um, come into our community. We'd like to stay, keep it dry. They like the peace, but many of Malinja's residents live in squalid conditions. Half of the houses here aren't connected to water supplies. Residents are having to use garden hose connections to other houses. The hose we hooked up and that's, that's, that's basically we get the water from. Raymond Dixon has low water pressure and a house that hasn't been repaired for years. We're just asking for the government just to do renovation, just help us put our water back, you know. Malinja resident Raymond Winsley retired here after years working on cattle stations. He lost his leg in a dairy farm accident aged 15. He's worried about his plumbing. And it goes through the toilet, feeding the water into the system, Yep. and back around the same pipe, back around, and go into my kitchen. Right. Now, is that hygiene? Raymond Winsley says some time ago a Territory Government representative offered him new door handles and lights, but not the major repairs his house needs. I don't know when the government's been here last, so. Malinja's residents are even more worried they may not get substantial help following the Prime Minister's comments that governments can't endlessly subsidise remote lifestyle choices. They say closing the gap means by providing a better future for our children, by introducing new programmes and stuff would help and they should look at, look at it really clear. They should come out and see what our problem is, how we're living. The residents are determined not to be forced out by decrepit housing and infrastructure. Jane Barden, ABC News, Malinja. The Territory's Attorney General has asked.